And while the flooding is keeping some away across the river on a beautiful day, it's bringing people out. Our team coverage continues now from Davenport. It's pretty insane. We came to take pictures today. The Hesco flood barrier has turned into a tourist spot in front of the Front Street Brewery. We saw Quad Cityans posing and snapping pics while grabbing a bite to eat. Seeing the river at this high, knowing that we're this far offshore, <laughs> is pretty incredible to see, um, especially so up close. Major flooding on the Mississippi has brought the river's edge in about 200 feet here to River Drive in Davenport. These Hesco barriers that I'm sitting on are the only thing keeping the downtown businesses dry. And thank goodness for the wall because a lot of these businesses would be impacted by this, so it's great that there is a wall option. That wall allows curious locals to get up close and personal at the new riverfront. It gives opportunities like this to see what the impact of the Mississippi can, can have on, on floods and, and the community. But, you know, 16 years ago, this was a much different story. Nearby LeClaire Park is completely submerged. Streets have closed for blocks inland and detours are the way of life for the time being. Linnea and Steve tell us they just take it all in. It's, just, it's an impressive sight. It gives the mighty Mississippi a whole new meaning, right? And there are some amazing pictures of the flooding in and around the Quad Cities I've seen. If you have any pictures you'd like to share with us, forward it to four on the free Our Quad Cities app. We set up a photo gallery on our website, ourquadcities.com.